YouTube! Hey, how are you doing today? It's Mike, Pratt Family Homestead. I want to try some pickled sausage today. Boom! Boom! Originally got the idea uh, when I was doing all the pickled eggs and everything. Uh, Mark over at Bone Bee Junction had hit me up and was talking some pickled sausage to me. Uh, he put out a video on uh, how they do it, so go check that out. I'm going to be closely following that today. But maybe adding a little bit of my own twist. I might not be able to make as much as I thought I was going to because we are running low on vinegar. Come on along. I got a feeling this is, is going to be super easy, but it's going to be a, at least a 10-day wait. At least a 10-day wait. Oh, something else. Mark says he never mixes his sausage and eggs. I've been all over the internet looking, and I have found lots of really cool pictures. And maybe I'll have some of those floating through right now of sausage and eggs pickled together. Oh my gosh, they look so good. I mean, how perfect is that? Have a jar, grab an egg, grab a sausage, bite, bite. Oh my gosh. I would be doing this except our chickens are on strike right now and they're about to lose their jobs. Let's get to chopping and add some meat to the jars. Most importantly, it's not the sausage. It's not the onion, the garlic, vinegar, jalapeno, or uh, hot sauce. It's not the jars. It's not, it's your help. Hi, beautiful. Thanks for helping me. You decided to stop playing just to come help me with this, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Thank you. So uh, one thing that Mark really suggested to me is when you cut these, make sure you take the casing off. Uh, if they do have casings, make sure you take it off because it comes in. Uh, the casings are just completely unchewable at this. Can I help you cut? Yep. Uh, cut? Yeah. Uh, I was thinking I would cut and you would put in a jar. Yeah. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah. Okay, maybe you can hold my hand while I cut a little bit. Okay. Okay. Here's what's gonna happen, Grace. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna maybe cut. I was also told to cut it like that and like that. So, actually we're gonna go for bites, I think. Okay, Grace, now that I stopped cutting and I pushed those over there, now you can grab them and put them in the jar. Grace, okay. you're doing a fabulous job. How did you get to be such a good helper? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This thing fill up way fast. It is. Could you hand me that other one over there? It's kind of slippery. It is kind of slippery. This one broke on us. Grace, do we have, how many full jars do we have? Three. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. Are you ready? Yeah. Dump them all out. Over here. Can you dump them back here? Can you reach back there? Or or here, we'll make this look easier for you. Dump them out right here. Hold that jar over here. Thank you. Let's measure how much of this we're gonna end up needing. Uh-oh, we might not have enough to do all three. I might have to dilute a little out of each of these. Nope, we are going to have enough. It's a good thing I'm going to the store later because we are now out of vinegar. Okay. Go ahead and dump those out right there, darling. Good job. Okay, put them this way. I'm going to go for some thicker pieces. Oh, I was to cut my hand so oh. Okay, that'll be your job over there. Okay. okay. Get all these broke up and mixed up with the meat. Me, I'm going to start doing some other stuff. Pe uh, peppercorn's almost out too. We're going to have a little peppercorn in the bottom. As you can see, we're not measuring nothing. We're just We're just doing it. Um, here are my fermented garlics. I am going to dump these, dump this out real quick. Yeah, we got, we got enough to add into each one. This family loves garlic, so we could eat it all day long. No problem. I'm just, Grace, we like garlic, don't we? Yes. 
Do we have even smell it. Do we have garlic on our table just like salt and pepper? Yes. And so we, we use garlic powder just like salt and pepper. Hey, can you look at me? Are those onions bugging your eyes? Yeah. You want to know a good trick? Why don't you just... There's a lot of good tricks, but if you need to walk away for a little bit, just go walk away, okay? Because your eyes are all watering. If you want to stay, you can stay, but if it's bugging your eyes, I suggest you go walk away a little bit, okay? What do you think? Think you should go walk away a little bit? No. Okay, here, let me help you with the onions. <laughs> Whew, girlfriend, your eyes are all watering. Have you been crying? You look like you've been crying. I've been. <laughs> so now I'm going to put a little bit of this garlic into each jar. And that's going to, I think this is the last of our fermented garlic. I guess I'll have to make some more, huh, huh darling? What else should we put in there? Should that be it? Don't rub your eyes, okay? Okay? Okay. Do you need to go to the bathroom and maybe wash your hands off and get some fresh air? Okay. Do you need me to help you? Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and add some red pepper flakes to each one of these. Not too much, but some. Well, one of these I'll add quite a bit. I really like stuff spicy um my uh wife and most of the kids like stuff also relatively spicy but not um not super spicy so here's this one that's a lot of red pepper flakes not too bad not too bad one last thing. Are you feeling better? Yeah. Okay. It's not that watery now. Now I'll put the peppers in. Okay. I forgot about this. One other thing is on one of these, I want to add some jalapenos. Yep. Like jalapenos. Yeah, I'll do the jalapenos because you don't have gloves on, okay? Okay. <laughs> smell them. Spicy. I, I love the flavor of peppers, including jalapenos. Um, I like a lot of spice. What I don't like, I can handle it, most of it, not all of it. I can handle super hot and spicy i can handle it but what i like is i like for my mouth to slightly be on flip on fire but still able to taste the food that i'm eating right grace yeah thank you ma'am those jalapenos do smell really good don't they don't it smells like peppers yeah jalapenos oh okay so here's what we're gonna do for our first time ever making these I can't remember how much Mark at Bone Beat Junction, how much hot sauce he used for how much that he did. I think he did a whole gallon's worth and used a full cup of hot sauce. So for our first time ever making these, I think to keep the whole family happy, I'm going to use, I think I'm going to go with two thirds cup hot sauce. And man, these Texas Pete, talk about the perfect reusable hot sauce bottle. The lid pops open and only a little bit dribbles out or... You can take the whole thing off to refill it after your Texas peas is gone with your homemade hot sauce. I probably have a video on that coming up. Uh, so we're going to fill it up to the two-thirds mark, okay? Okay, and then I'm going to dump it in? Yeah, I think you'll be the dumper. Okay, be very careful and slow because that's hot sauce. It will burn your eyes if it gets in your eyes and stuff, okay? Look how professional you are. That is fantastic. Go ahead, finish up in it. I'm really kind of starting to think that's too much hot sauce, but we'll find out if I'm the only one that eats these, because I will eat them. Okay, very carefully. Okay, go ahead and just put it down over there. All right, so I probably won't video this, not to bore you guys. I'm gonna go boil this, bring it to a boil, and let it boil for, I don't know, Five minutes that's what a lot of my pickled egg recipes call for is boiling for five minutes actually they basically just call for it to come to a boil hey, what are you doing to do with these well the stuff that daddy has on the stove 
We're going to eat them. These might turn out very spicy, okay? okay? So I don't know if you guys will want to eat them, but we'll see. Okay. This one has the least amount of spice in it. I got all the onions. You did it? Yeah. Okay, good job. Okay, a little last minute call here. I'm going to add some pickling spice to the mixture and then uh, when it gets all poured out I will probably take these spices and divide them up between the three jars. I'm not going to put a lot in though, but um, you know, yeah, between the three jars I don't think that's all that much. And I can tell you, I think I am starting to feel my eyes be very slightly irritated just with this steaming. So the second this comes to a full boil, I'll probably just stop it right there and, um, and go ahead and start putting it in the jars. Note, these jars sit out in our very cold pantry until we use them. I mean, it is extremely cold. So I have these sitting in some very hot water right now, warming up. So hopefully everything is good to go when the, uh, uh, the liquid, the boiling hot liquid is poured into here. We don't have an issue. All right, guys, this was brought to a boil. Um, I think I can feel this a little bit in my throat and a little bit, just a little bit in my eyes, nothing major. Uh, dump a little in, dump a little in each of them. All right, and I still have quite a bit of brine left here, or whatever you want to call it. So these are full. Okay, excellent. I don't think I need to fill them anymore. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and add hot water too. So that's going to come out like the half and half. Now i got to remember that. I'm going to mark that one. Okay, hold on. Alright, let's wipe some of this mess away. This towel will go directly to the laundry. I don't want any of the kids wiping their face with this or anything. Kind of having a gut feeling a lot of this is going to be too spicy for anybody else in this house but me. And it might actually end up too spicy for me, but I doubt that. Okay, so even like my pickled eggs and stuff, a lot of times when you cap these, you know, so I use a wide mouth jar, you don't have to, it's easier to dig into and stuff. Um, these very well could end up sealing just like you were canning them. Have that happen all the time with my pickled eggs. But keep in mind, this isn't canned, all right? But these can list last in the fridge for uh, months. In fact, I, in other egg pickling videos I've done, I know this is sausage, but um, the USDA has some very nice recommended guidelines on how long to keep pickled, I believe it was eggs I was looking at. I'll try to post, I'll try to find that, put a link in here for you. But that's that. This one's got the jalapenos in it. All right guys, I cannot wait to try these. These are looking already pretty good. Mm -mm. Uh, again, thanks to Bumblebee Junction for um, giving me this idea months ago, and I'm just now acting on it. Uh... Um, they've been sitting in our fridge, in the back of the fridge. We've been munching on them from time to time, but to tell you the truth, I kind of got forgot about. But this is all that's left of the jalapeno one. And this is all that's left of one of the other ones. And the other one is uh, uh, gone. So we got to do a little taste test here. Let's, let's go get the four taste testers and get them over here and taste it. Um, we've been eating it. Obviously, there's, I mean, there's not much left, folks. So I need to let you know how this is tasting. Okay, so you guys, uh, TJ says he hasn't, but everybody else has tried these before. These have been in the fridge for so long. This is my newest endeavor. Some videos coming out, some sourdough. Um, but this is the only piece of sausage that's actually left in this, what I'm calling the normal one. I, I can't remember what's what. This is the jalapeno one. It seems like I made three kinds, but yeah. So this one with just the red pepper flakes. So everybody take one of the this one first. Did I only cut three? Yeah. <laughs> um, here, TJ, just go ahead and take a bite off that one. Grace, mm -hmm. go ahead and here, take that. Or did you take, okay. 
That's got some kick to it, huh? It's got some kick? Mm -hmm. Do you like it though? Mm -hmm. Do you guys like it? Uh -huh. Too spicy. It, it did. It did get spicier over time, which makes sense. Okay. That one's yummy. All right. Grace, are you okay? Did, la, la. Did, did you like it? Okay, this one has some distinct jalapeno flavor in it, but I don't think it's all that spicy, to tell you the truth. Go, go ahead and grab one. No, Grace, grab one of the little ones. Oh, I just knocked some stuff down. Grace, go ahead and grab one of the little ones. Mm. You can that, taste the jalapeno, can't you? That's different. Cool. It's different? Is it good? That's good. That's, that's good? Not spicy. Did you like it? Yeah, now, TJ, I've been meaning to tell you and everybody else, these onions, you should try one of these onions. I know they're good. They would go great on hot dogs. Oh, these sure. pickled onions would taste pretty good on hot dogs. Can TJ try a jalapeno? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Hey, well, look. Look. Those things are hot jalapenos. Mm. How's the other kind? How do they take one more? <laughs> you you. Alright guys, so it's a win. Should we make these more often? Got some yeah. kick to him, Faith? All right. We know mom's not going to like it, right? I'm a jalapeno. I'm a jalapeno. A what? Jalapeno. I thought you were saying a jalapeno. <laughs> I wanted to add real quick because I wasn't really part of the taste test. I wasn't one of the munchkins. Uh, I like them. I like them a lot. So um, I hope to plant these a lot more. Uh, I just want to make that clear in case I didn't say it before. This is okay in my book. I did not think it would be. I did not think I'd like this. But I did. All right, thanks, Mark, over at Bone Beat Junction for giving me the idea to do this. Um, it's a hit. I'll be doing this more. I am for sure on the next batch. I'm gonna do eggs and sausage in the same jar. I'm gonna do it for sure. And um, yeah, we have a lot of phones. We have duck eggs piling up like crazy. So keep an eye out for maybe some more pickled egg recipes. I haven't put one of those out in a long time. About time to do one of those. And um, I think we'll be adding sausage to some of these. All right, we enjoyed this. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.